game makers. Meet Catty. She's just recently become a chibi. Hiya. So what am I doing here exactly? See, it's come to Catchy's attention that some people just aren't into the whole chibi look. Um, heh? Some people would actually prefer to have taller, less cutesy, teeny tiny sprites. Why would anyone want that? Today we're gonna take an MV character sprite and make it bigger. I don't think I like where this is going. That's where Catchy comes in. She's gonna help us with our example. Wait, 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 I'm doing what now? We're de chibifying you. Heh, <laughs> but I wanna be a chibi. It's okay, I won't override anything this time, I swear. Y you're sure, you're sure this time, right? For reals, right? Of course, it'll probably be fine. Probably? Can you at least try to say that more confidently? Oh, have some faith in me, I've done this at least twice. Twice? I'm gonna tell you this now, this is not a spriting tutorial. This is just a simple and very, very noob way to make your sprites bigger. Other options include going online and finding pre-made sprites that are already the size you want, but if you're, say, fond of the generator and like making your own unique characters, this is a very simple no-skill way of changing the chibiness factor of your graphics. First, open up the character graphic you want to edit. In this case, it's our amazing friend Catchy who is so very willing to help me out. I'm using Photoshop, but you can use your image editing program of choice. Copy all of our sprites and paste them into a new file. This is just a file I was using for testing. As long as the file is larger than the sprite size, you're pretty much set. Now's the part where we choose the size we want for our sprites. We're going to make Catchy about the same size as my other two attempts, so we're gonna just line up her head with the other ones. Select one row of her body and go to Free Transform. Make sure that the interpolation is set to nearest neighbor to prevent it from getting too pixely. Now just drag everything below her head down to where you want it. Keep in mind, the taller we make it, the more distorted the pixels will become. There's no way around this, sadly. So if it gets too awkwardly distorted, you might just want to go and do a few touch-ups. Just using the program's version of the pencil tool will probably work fine. I'd also suggest that once you've found a size you like, to put in some lines on a separate layer as guides, if you're planning on doing this for more than one graphic. Now do the same as we did in the first row to the other three. When you have everything resized, select all the sprites and copy them. I've already done this part, but you'll want to go back to your original character sheet and resave it under a different name, preferably under an editable file type. You'll want to change the height of the sprite sheet to allow for the taller sprites. Go to Image, Image Size. This is what I changed mine to, but it really depends on the size of your graphics. Make sure that Constrained Proportions is not checked, and again, make sure it's set to Nearest Neighbor. Once you've found a size that your graphics fit into, click OK. Paste your sprites over top, that is to say, on a separate layer, and line them up with the bottom center of the stretched graphics. Hide the stretched layer and save it as a .png file type. And that's all! Now we're gonna head back to our game, swap out the graphics, and take a look! And there is our sprite! A little pixely, but like I said, you can always touch that up later. It's just a really easy way of doing it, I think. Want me to come with you? Yeah, sure, Akira. Ooh, let's talk to the chibi Akiras. Oh my gosh, you're the size of two of me! Pretty much. Oh, uh, it's out here. Waves. Hey, hey, it's Echo. Hi, Echo. See, it wasn't that bad. I will say nothing. I think Catchy's a little annoyed that we de fight her. We'll turn her back. Probably. We'll see. Hey, look, look. It's Blondie. Hi, Blondie. You're saying you want me to follow you around like a mindless puppet who has no will of their own? Exactly. Fine, but I'm only doing it because Akira's with you. Woo, then we are joining the party and now we've got three super mega tall people. Hi, super mega tall people. Okay, let's go up here. Ah, look at all the teeny tiny graphics. We're like so much taller than them. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the Not A Spreading tutorial with Echo and Catchy. And if you have any other RPG Maker MV requests, feel free to ask me in the comments. Till next time, later gamers!